Loftlayer HF LL001, a charter flight, crashed on November 15, 1978, on approach just short of the runway at the International Airport of Colombo, Sri Lanka. The Douglas DC-8 crash killed eight of the 13 Icelandic crew members, five reserve crew members and 170 mostly Indonesian Muslim pilgrims from South Borneo, out of a total of 262 passengers and crew. The official report by Sri Lankan authorities gave the probable cause of the crash as being failure of the crew to conform to approach procedures, however U.S. and Icelandic authorities officially claim faulty equipment at the airport and air traffic control error as the cause of the crash. It is by far the worst crash in Icelandic aviation history and the second worst in Sri Lankan aviation history after Martin Air Flight 138 that crashed four years before. The flight departed Jeddah, Saudi Arabia, en route to Surabaya in Indonesia. It was to land at Colombo Bandaranaika International Airport for a refueling stop and crew rotation. Thunderstorms were in the area, and wind shear was an issue. Topic. Aircraft The aircraft involved in the incident was a DC-8 chartered from the Icelandic airline Loftlayer for Hajj operations. The aircraft's registration number was TF Florida, and its name was Lifer Ericsson. Topic: Accident. The aircraft was chartered by Garuda Indonesia. On November 15 it operated as flight LL001 from Jeddah to Surabaya. All 13 crew members were Icelandic. There were 249 passengers, the majority being residents of Indonesia, who had previously attended the Hajj in Mecca and were now returning home. At 12.58 Coordinated Universal Time the flight departed Jeddah for Colombo, for a refueling stop and crew change. There were thunderstorms and wind shear reported in the area. At 22 hours 53 minutes and 24 seconds local time, the control center transmitted to the crew that they would be landing on runway 04 at the airport. In response, the crew responded by requesting to land on runway 22. The controller accepted and gave instructions for landing on runway 22 on the ILS. The aircraft then descended to flight level FL 220 reaching that height around 90 miles 140 kilometers from the airport at 23 hours 6 minutes and 32 seconds local time the crew contacted the airport's radar control center which cleared the flight to descend to an altitude of 2000 feet 610 meters and then follow its instructions to perform an approach to landing on runway 22 the dispatcher also transmitted to the crew to report when they come out on the radio beacon, to which they reported from the aircraft about receiving information, but did not confirm it. The radar controller periodically transmitted distance and height data to the aircraft. The last radio message from the controller was given at 23 hours 27 minutes and 26 seconds. Lima, Lima 001, slightly to the left of center line, very slightly to the left of center line, 2 miles from touchdown, height 650 feet, clear to land off this approach. At 23 hours 27 minutes and 37 seconds, the crew replied, Roger. Acknowledging the transmission, however, when the approach controller saw Flight 001, the aircraft was descending dangerously towards the ground. The controller warned the flight, Lima, Lima 001, you are undershooting. However, the crew was speaking with the radar controller at a frequency than that the approach controller, thus the approach control got no response. The approach controller then lost visual sight of the DC-8, and then he saw an explosion at that area. At 23 hours 28 minutes and 3 seconds, the DC-8 crashed into a rubber and coconut plantation and exploded. 
The crash site was located 1.1589 miles kilometers from runway 22 and 103.15 feet meters off the right side of the runway's extended center line. As the first witness of the crash, the approach controller immediately informed his colleagues about the incident. Within half an hour, five fire trucks arrived at the crash site. In general, the rescue operation was hampered by a large number of coconut palms, which prevented the approach to the crash site of large pieces of equipment, but the operation was still reported as satisfactory. One of the members who took part in the rescue was the acting head of the civil aviation of the country. While assisting in the rescue, he managed to document the instrument readings quickly and took the photographs necessary for the investigation. A total of 183 people were killed in the crash, 8 crew members and 175 passengers. As for the survivors, 32 people, 4 crew members and 28 passengers received non-fatal injuries, while 47 people, 1 crew member and 46 passengers received no injuries. Topic: See also List of accidents and incidents involving commercial aircraft Martin Air Flight 138